Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a bonus recipe. On Fridays, I'm going to try to get out a bonus recipe for you guys that are easy meals and that either are featured in an Instant Pot or a slow cooker. So this first one is with the Instant Pot. You can of course make this on your stove though, and I'm sure you can figure out a way of making it in your slow cooker as well if you have those. So we're going to make our carrot and parsnip ginger soup. It's delicious. It even has some red lentils in here as well. And you can tweak what spices you'd like to put in this. So if you don't like ginger, you can even omit it or you can bump up and add extra. I love this because it's nice and filling and warm, perfect for fall. And again, it uses seasonal vegetables, which I love, and it's really easy to make. So I hope you guys will enjoy this recipe video. It's perfect. It serves around two people and you can eat a lot of it, so it's perfect for weight loss. I generally like to serve this over a whole grain because we already have our red lentils in there for our legume. Then you have your whole grain and vegetables and you're set. So I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe video. Again, it's kind of a bonus recipe on Friday and I'll see you guys at the end to taste it. On your Instant Pot, you should see a saute button. And what I do is I just click that, I put in my chopped red onion, you can use any onion for this, and I just get one small onion. Uh, I don't really measure out the exact amount, but if you get a medium onion, it'll be okay as well. Um, this recipe is really forgiving, which I really like. Now I saute in the vegetable stock that we have for the total amount. So there's four cups of vegetable stock total. I just take a little bit and use that to saute the red onion in. And this just helps from anything sticking and burning. And I kind of fast forward this just a little bit here, but you'll see that I'm really just looking for our onions to get translucent and then you're ready to go. If you don't have an onion on hand, you can also put in some onion powder and skip this step. Once everything is nicely translucent and cooked, I go ahead and shut my Instant Pot off. There's an off button. Just go ahead and, and select that. And then you can really just dump in the remaining ingredients. It's so easy. That's why I love doing this, especially on Fridays when I just want something quick and I'm sick of cooking and I need, need something on the go. So again, I just cooked my onion, turn off the Instant Pot, and then we're gonna dump in the rest. I found at Trader Joe's, they have these rainbow carrots, and I love them. So you'll see a purple carrot, and um, I have orange ones as well, as well as parsnips. And go ahead and just chop those and add them, add them in. Super easy and simple. All right, now you can go ahead and add in your seasoning. So I have some, some ginger powder. You can also use fresh ginger if you like and grate it. I also have some garlic powder and some black pepper. You can of course switch up whatever you'd like for this. And I also have a half a cup of red, red lentils. And the red lentils are really awesome in this ingredient because they kind of thicken it and really um, kind of break apart. So you really can't see that there's red lentils in there, but they're in there. <laughs> and then I add in the rest of the vegetable stock. Again, super simple and easy. This recipe doesn't take very long to, to get in there. I like to just give a nice mix just to help everything that was in the bottom and kind of help the spices out. And it's a very mild amount of ginger. If you like a more um, vibrant ginger, I, I like doing that at the end for my own taste versus you know, if I have someone over or my husband's taste. So I'll add, add in a couple of spices at the very end for mine. Um, so just put the lid on, and then you just want to make sure that it's marked to sealing. Um, that's really the important part of doing any Instant Pot recipes is you just want to seal the vent, and that will allow it to come up to pressure and for everything to be safe. So I went ahead and you press um, high pressure for 15 minutes, and it's, it's on. So I'll post a picture of our screen right now of what my Instant Pot looks like. You also want to let it come down to natural release, which means you just let it sit and the pin will drop whenever all of the pressure is out of your Instant Pot cooker. So it's 15 minutes on and then you just let it sit. And then whenever it's ready to be released, then you can open it. Now I take around half of the mixture and blend it in my Vitamix to really make everything nice and smooth. I find it makes a creamier soup. And this is just how we like it. You could eat it 
straight how it is. And I also like to take one cup of a non-dairy milk as well. It just adds a little bit of extra creaminess without adding in really any extra, that many extra calories. So I find that if you add one cup of a non-dairy milk that's unsweetened, this helps kind of with that creamy element of the soup. You could also throw in, if you wanted to, you could throw in some raw nuts in here and make it definitely a creamier, creamier version. All right, give that a blend. And then after it's blended, you can go ahead and add it straight into your Instant Pot. And everything is done. It's so simple and easy. So I really like serving this over whole grain. Most times we'll make farro or quinoa or brown rice or some kind of whole grain. And even, you know, you can do um, sweet potatoes or something like that as well. And it really just is such a nice, a nice soup. It's very mild flavored. You can bump up the ginger if you really want it to be a little bit more strong. You can add in some white miso for the salt element if you'd like. You can add some more black pepper. I've even done cumin before in this recipe. Or um, what else have we done? We've done a little bit of curry as well, curry powder. And it's just so many beautiful uh, ways to kind of tweak it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed making this with me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just creamy and delicious and super hearty. I love it. We adore soups, especially during the fall and winter months here. And again, I really like it over farro or quinoa or rice or some kind of whole grain, but give it a test. And you can also add in a little bit of extra ginger if you'd like, or add in some white miso, or even um, more black pepper, whatever you'd like for the spices in here. It's very good. You guys are going to love it. I love blending half of, the, half of the soup to really make it creamy and just a beautiful texture as well. And I know you guys are going to like this one. So make sure you're subscribed. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week. And they're always SOS free. And I'd love to have you as part of our community. And give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Bye.